Pages, the ramblings speak of a coming war. Ooh. They talk about foolish pawns who follow their gods to annihilation. They speak of the armies of Gordranas washing over the land, and pauper and kings alike being saved not at all and being placed in a pike and held like a banner into battle, regardless of who they are. They speak of the weakness of flesh and the need to endure beyond the paltry life shell that we're given. Talks about experiments with refugees, finding if the soul is bound to the flesh in any form, be it ice or ash. It speaks of an obsession with avoiding the eternal hunger of the crawling king. He who tunnels beneath the world and will find him. Oh boy! Oh, no. This seems like beyond our level stuff. Is there an audio <laughs> version of this? <laughs> it speaks of a bounty hunter oh. who had infiltrated this sanctum after Sif. And while it cost Sif his legs, his the, legs? The hunter was burned in the brazier flames of erasure. A trophy shall be taken and displayed as a warning. It's a fucking sword! It's a fucking sword! From there, it grows more and more manic. The scrawling's taking you a moment, even with the spell, to kind of focus and make it out. Speaking on quaking within the earth around that shakes the surrounding oh, hills no, and darken no. the sky. The betrayer gods come. The power of man must remain. The arcane gifts must bypass their punishment. Show them that they are not above their creators, their creations. The final notes grow even more paranoid, worried that the secrets that Sif seeks will fall into the hands of Gordranus, and that all must be destroyed. All must come to ash, and from the ashes shall rise again. And that's the final page before the rest of the book is just charred beyond recognition. Jester, Jester, what? while Molly is having a look around, let me tell you, you hold that for me. Hold it still. What? And I will hold what still? The sword. The sword, and I will tell you what it is, but you have to hold it for a while, muscles. I'm good. Yeah. As you guys are having this conversation, you begin to notice as you're yelling and talking, your breath is now visible. It's getting colder! Yeah. We should get out of here! We should get out of here! The temperature growing colder and colder still. You guys. You, looking past <laughs> the chamber towards one of these urns, you see a very faint light, a flicker within where the ashes are. We've got a problem. As this happens, the center circle of the chamber sure begins to something. glow darker and darker as a Marks. shadow begins to emerge oh, from the center of the chamber. Shifting out of the ground, you watch as what looks to be some sort of whipping cloak around a humanoid figure oh, rises no. out, made of pure shadow and darkness. Oh, the cloth is tattered no. and just shifting around, <laughs> causing this horrible whipping oh, sound, like a wind is blowing extremely intensely, but only localized around this figure. As the face is visible, you see this ghastly like flesh stretched against the skull but still made of dark gray matter that begins to shift and move with the shadows around it. The voice kind of No secrets are yours. We'll pick up there next week. Oh!